Hi, my name is Dennis Hare. I've been training retrievers for about 17 years for hunting, hunt test, and field trials. I love what I do. It's my passion. Um, I just thoroughly enjoy it. It's evolved into not just training other people's dogs, but teaching people how to train their dog as well. So our mission statement at the kennel has become um, we want to train dogs to the highest levels possible in a positive, fair, humane manner and teach other people how to do that as well. So, and it continues to evolve. Um, every year we do a little bit more. I wanted to do this video for a couple of reasons. Number one is most training videos that I've seen, uh, most training books, they take you through the methods A through Z with a trained or a semi-trained dog and it makes it look like it goes easier than it really is and most of them if not all of them fail to show the struggles that go along with it and how to deal with those struggles as they come up so I've tried to through this whole process show the struggles or as many as I could as we go through this process and how to deal with those struggles because oftentimes somebody at home training their own dog gets the impression watching some of these videos that either number one their dog isn't very smart or very good or they're doing something wrong and that may not be the case it may just be that's part of the process so it would help if they could see that you know there are some struggles with almost every dog as you go through this at some point so I wanted to show not only the struggles but the different temperaments and personalities that the dogs have some dogs need a lot of praise some dogs need just a little praise and some dogs don't need praise till after you're done otherwise they come unglued during the process some dogs need more discipline than others so every dog is so different and even though we have to use the methods depending on the dog's personality type will determine how we apply those methods and it can be different with every dog and it usually is to some degree so it's really important going in I think that people realize that um, and if they don't, if they just go through the methods and the dog does this and the book or video says do this, it may not be appropriate depending on that dog's temperament and personality type. So I want to go through that. The other thing is this dog training process can be very an emotional experience for somebody doing their own dog. And oftentimes, even people with the best intentions out of frustration and anger end up making some mistakes by correcting out of emotion or doing things out of negative emotions and that can hinder the dog long term, short term, or to some degree even permanently if it's, if it's done incorrectly with certain types of dogs. So I wanted to have people become aware of how important their mindset and attitude is in cultivating a positive attitude in the dog. And what they do during this whole process when a dog does something is critical to the process of how the dog's gonna turn out. So it's more than about just producing, at the end of this, a dog doing certain things. I know competitive dogs that are highly successful, but I don't necessarily agree with the methods that got them there. So this is about results. There's no doubt that's a big part of this. But more than just results, it's about the process and cultivating the, the best attitude we can in a dog. Um, so I wanted to make sure that was clear what we do more than the methods but our attitude through the whole process and how we react to what's going on is as important if not more important than the actual methods so very few programs talk about that but it does at times become emotional and if we start making especially corrections out of emotions um, we're setting ourselves up for failure and we're really not being fair to the dog so I wanted to really make sure I cover that and there's also cases where people because they're afraid of corrections they're afraid of making a mistake they don't make the appropriate corrections when necessary and that can create a bad attitude in a the dog they're inconsistent the dog doesn't know what to expect so it's a balance but the ultimate goal that I wanted was to train a dog to a high level with a positive attitude and to cultivate that the best I could so hopefully I've accomplished that but that was my twofold purpose of doing this and hopefully the people enjoy it and get a lot out of it. It's designed to go 12 weeks. It's not about going in a weekend and watching the whole video. It's designed to watch a week at a time through 12 weeks. Some may go faster, some may go a little bit slower, but it's a 12 weeks extensive course. So hopefully I accomplish what I set out to do. Um, so I can share some of my knowledge with some people training their own dog. Thank you.